So, Mr. Welcher. What up? Tell us about the St. John's River. What, what happened? St. John's got me bad this year. I really don't know what happened. I just didn't get any bites. Point blank, period. I just did not get any bites. That's all I can say. Don't really know why, but I didn't. What about practice? How was your practice? Practice was not good, but that's to be expected whenever you're pre-spawning Florida on the like verge of it like going down, going down, which we've seen in day three and day four of the tournament, they've caught some big, big bags because those fish did get acclimated. They did get where you want them to get. So, <clears throat> you know, first days of the tournament was really just a grind for a lot of people. And the average, um, you know, people are catching four, five, you know, getting four to six bites all day long. A few people got more bites than that. For the most part, people aren't catching a whole lot of keepers. And whenever the average is only getting four or five bites a day, it's definitely within the realm of possibility to go out there and only get two bites. Like, just standard deviation it's probably not that you know far off base to only get two bites whenever the average is getting like four so you know what i'm saying i made a lot of adjustments in that tournament maybe i fish too fast i don't know i fish faster than everybody all the time so people have been telling me forever that i fish too fast so it's easy for people to say yeah you fish too fast all that type of stuff but people have been telling me for that forever and i've always you know done pretty decent doing it so did i fish too fast maybe but i feel like i didn't I feel like i fish slow like I fish good stuff. I just didn't get any bites. Don't know what else to say. But now, moving on to hair chain. What's your prediction for hair chain? How will it be one? Oh, that's a tough one. Hair chain will probably be one mixing it up. There'll be some offshore stuff. There'll be some spawners. And uh, I think the person that wins will probably catch a mixture of spawners and offshore fish. So I think you gotta do both here. What's your prediction and weight? For a four day total. Four day total, let's say somebody catches like a 30, 28, 23. 30, 28, 23. Yeah. Is that 58, adding up? 28. You think somebody's going to catch a 30 pound 81. bag? It'll probably take like 106. Yeah, like 106 pounds to win this one, probably. Something like that. I'll say 106. Three. That's what I say. 106.3. Okay. Y'all get your fantasy team ready. 106.3 is the tiebreaker one. Might all leave me out because uh, as soon as I see a fish, I just fall on top of them. Day three of practice put in on the world famous Lake Popka today. This used to be the worst lake down here. Now, they've been stocking it managing it pretty well. It's actually a pretty decent lake on the on the Harris chain, but it's uh, a long run. You got a three boat lock to get into here. So, lots of factors whenever you run this far, but we can catch them, we'll come on down here, you know, it ain't nothing. Just got to ride down here, pick you up five, and turn around and head back. What was your first two days? First what? How was your first two days of practice? Um, decent at best. Hard to get a bite, but there's some big ones spawning. He is looking at Todd's bait. I like it. He's cute. Well. What did you do day one? Day one, I went and fished, uh... Offshore a good bit, grass, shell bars, few brush piles. There ain't many brush piles here that I found. And then uh, late in the day, went looking for bedfish, and there's a bunch of them spawning. It doesn't feel there's definitely not enough, at least in my opinion, to win the tournament. But there's there's enough bedfish spawning. You just got to catch some of those big females to do good in this tournament. And I've had a big bite from bed fish you know that are locked on and, and actually acting right but uh it ain't easy it definitely ain't easy so yesterday went look for a little bit more bed fish not a ton gonna look for most of the bed fish i've looked for today but uh flipped a lot yesterday harris eustace little harris and it's tough to get bites it really really is tough to get bites i don't i don't know how we time it like this every tournament but we it ain't real good right now. But there's gonna be some real big bags caught because they're spawning. There's so many big females on the bank. So it's gonna be quite a few 30 pound bags, I would imagine. Getting getting over to that. I don't know. The males are like two pounders or smaller, pound and a halfers. You catch four of those and then a six pound female, you still ain't got that much, you know, so you gotta catch two of them females really to have a big bag. First fish I've caught 
on uh, day three of practice. Shook off a couple and then uh, peed me up a bait with a hook because I had a feeling that they were small. You can just tell kind of by the way they were biting. They felt like they were small fish, so decided to catch me one or two. Put it back in the same spot, had another little bite. Might not have been a little bite. So in the tournament, to get down here, we would have to run through Lake Harris. We gotta run through the Dead River, which is a 10 minute idle. Then we gotta run through Lake Eustis. Then we gotta go through the Door Canal, which is a 20 minute idle. And then we gotta run through Lake Dora, idle into Beauclair, run through Beauclair, lock down here, and there's a couple more idle zones through there, so. It'd be a little stretch to get down here. So what would it take today for you to come here? A lot of bites. I've just gotten four or five bites so far, and I'm very, very confident they're small. So, I don't know, I would just hate to run this far for little bitty ones. And I mean, it doesn't really matter because if you can generate enough bites, you just gotta hope there's a female around. You know, so if I can get enough bites, it still wouldn't matter. But if I don't get but a few bites, I need to at least know that the males are, you know, over two pounds, which so far has not been the case. So we'll lean on a couple. I've got a little bit of something else going for the tournament. It ain't much at all, but I'm gonna have to think this is a pretty consistent way to get a check at least. And there's always the potential to win down here, but I'm gonna have to think this is a really good way to get a check at a minimum to come down here so you know lots of boats are in the areas too and that's one thing i just shook some off down area another competitor pulled up literally right behind me so there any there any things today dude two pounder not too bad I told you I was about to catch one of those fish. Another little two-pounder. I was like so sure I was about to catch one of those fish. I didn't want to say it out loud because I've been wrong today. Way. This is the biggest one by a little, I think. That's why. Two and a quarter. No, not no two and eleven. Like, they little. He was fat. Yeah, he's fat. I think the other ones were about that size, maybe just an ounce smaller. It feels worth it to me. As far as my practice has been, I don't know. The problem is these fish are spawning on all this stuff and it ain't like you're getting that many bites, you know? The reason I'm saying that is like, if a boat goes through there before you, it ain't like there's a bunch of a big school of them or something here. It's like they're locked on. Somebody pitches in their bed. They eat it. And then, I mean, that's it for that one. That's it for that whole little clump. Come over here and flip buggy whips and airheads all day, though. You, I think you catch five. We moved lakes and now we're going to uh, roll around looking. See if we can find some big males or some big females locked on bed. Just give us a starting point for tomorrow. I'd really like to bed fish in this tournament, but I've been seeing a lot of really, really small males, and that just means that you have a lot of variance if you can't get some of those big females to bite. So try to find us some bigger males or a locked on big female.
stuff too where I can get to it, you know? Not behind the wall. So Kyle, tell us, if you had to go fishing right now for the tournament, what would you do? Oh God, probably go bed fish. Bed fish? Yep. I heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll bet. Risk it to get the biscuit. Risk it to get the biscuit. It got dark quick. I don't know where the time goes when we're out here practicing and rigging and stuff like that, but time management is a really big key. It's kind of like being in college where, you know, it's time management is one of the biggest things that you have to learn and really deal with. But uh, either way, turn morning now, ready to rock and roll.